dogs lately in my life. And there's nothing worse than the angry days where everything will piss you off. Like, the smallest of things, like, you'll get up in the morning and you'll see, like, your dog, he's on your favorite carpet, and he's just licking his ass or something. And it's, like, disgusting, it's on your favorite carpet, and you just look and you're like, show off. <laughs> yes. The first thing on those days where everything will be job is if you get like the most annoying song in the world stuck in your head. It only happens on those days, you know? Like, like the worst one is you'll be driving down the road and they come out of nowhere. You have to hear this annoying song. And it was like the most recent one was Tell Me Why. I'm actually, right? I don't have to write the title. I just know that one line. It's like, Tell me why! And it's horrible. Because I'm driving along and then it just gets to the point, it just repeats in your head until you just want to go on a murderous rampage. But rather than a murderous rampage, it's just you, you think you're just going to sing the song in a way that will choke the words themselves. Like, if you sing it so fucked up, it will in turn choke the person that made the song. And so Bastard Boys for me, I'm driving down the road to work, there's like no tinted windows, and I'm doing this. Tell me why! It's just like, take that. I'll tell you why, because you suck. They have this huge dialogue, you start going crazy in your car, and that's what I think. There's too much anger in the world now, and I think that you just need to pretend like you're in your car, but you're not you, you're the stranger next to you, because that's when you see the real craziness of humanity. It's when you're in the car, it's like, one day, I, when I was writing this bit, I wanted to punch myself in the face, because I realized how ridiculous it was, I, there was a time when I wore a Spongebob beanie and thought I looked cool in it. And it was like, I'll give it, like, the whole thing wasn't Spongebob, but it was black and it had Spongebob on the front. And I was like rocking it. I was like, yeah, I'll drive around town in this. And then I got some fake Beats by Dre. And so I was going full 8 mile on this, which is something that I should never do, especially not for this color. And so I've got my like, fake Beats by Dre on. And I'm bumping along, and I'm sitting in a stoplight, and my head is chilling, you know. And I look over, and I catch eyes with the guy in the car next to me, and him and his girlfriend just bust out laughing. <laughs> I don't blame them. Like, and I was like watching, and I busted out laughing, and so I'm wearing fake beats by Dre, huge headphones, a SpongeBob beanie, and I'm laughing hysterically to myself in my car about being laughed at. And then afterwards, I realized that then he might have just told a funny joke. Then he <laughs> And so then he looks over again, and so this eight mile cat with the fake beats by Dre and SpongeBob is now laughing hysterically by himself. <laughs> That's terrible. I, say, I wish that we could be conditioned. Pavlov says that people, animals, and such can be conditioned. And I wish I could be conditioned to just like snap out of anger with like snap. But Pavlov, I, I see the dogs being conditioned, but with humans, that's bullshit. I'll tell you why. I have two reasons why. Alcohol and McDonald's are proof that humans cannot be conditioned. Alcohol, you, I've had some of the hangovers I've had, I wake up in the morning and uh, the next night I'll be drinking again. That's the equivalent to being shot in both feet and asking the person that shot you to reload. We do it anyways. Like, I've seen people like get up and they're like, this is the worst hangover I've had. I, and they're so dehydrated, like they're just gaunt and pale and they look like dead. And they're like, well, I can like hook you up with an IV or something, that's why it's good to know nursing school students. But, like, you can, we can hook you up with an IV, it's like, can you shoot? Never clear into that thing? <laughs> what? And then second, it's gone. No matter, there's no mystery. There's no mystery. If you're going to end up sacrificing to the porcelain gods after McDonald's. It happens every fucking time. And so, and we, but we go back and we're like driving past the golden arches, and it's like, oh, last time that destroyed my entire toilet. <laughs> but water sounds so good. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> and so, I mean, that's our traditional is bullshit. And then, Pavlov is into some really weird stuff, but the people that I think are into the most weird stuff, necrophiliacs. You see, I, I, I thought to myself, I was like, I could never be one of those. But don't worry, like, it wasn't like I didn't deliberate about those decisions in my life. I was like, fuck, should I do it or not? Like, I promise, that wasn't the, that wasn't the case. But I do think it'd be cool to go to meetings for necrophiliacs, because, check it, like, let me paint you a scene. So you're like at your house and like you're running really late on time. And so you like throw your clothes on and shit like weird uh, dynasty shit. And you're like running out of time and so you haul ass out the door. You catch every red light on the way to the necrophiliac meeting. You still haven't questioned your life at this point. I don't know why. And so you go and you bust into the meeting and the leader of the meeting. He'll look up and you're like, I'm so sorry I'm late. Like I, I meant to be on time for my first necrophiliac meeting. And he'll look at you and he'll be like, Dude, that's cool. With necrophilia, it's never too late. <laughs> <laughs>